thanks for clicking on my channel joy's way i'm joy if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning supporter of mine welcome back awesome person so today i have a collab with the collabtastic ladies now if you don't know who they are it is lori latimer becky's empty nest living and loving with lauren a jamie jirazi and myself so and this month we're doing like a spring themed look i think i read it and then i forget about it like you know but i do know that we're going to be using this palette right here my what is it called my spanglish palette and it is by um alomar cosmetics and this was sent to me from JM Unboxing and More, aka Johanna May Sonnet. She is my girlfriend. I love her so much. And I've used this one other time. You do get a mirror. Mm, if there was a plastic thingy, I lost it. These are the colors. I didn't use this palette on camera, but I've used it once. So I'm super excited that I get to do. Um, a video with this palette because you know me it's really hard for me to get to new palettes hell it's hard for me to get to old palettes doing everything in my power to keep my under eyes hydrated all right i also got these new brushes well i got a whole bunch more there's like 20 of them i got these and you know it was southern mom of boys is who i originally um won the giveaway from but then she had changed her name so i'm gonna look it up really quick Alrighty, so she changed it to Beauty After 50. I haven't played with these yet, so I thought it would be great to try out with my palette. So I think I'm going to start off with this color right here. So I don't know the name of these brushes, like what they're supposed to be used for, even though you don't have to use them for what they say, because I never do. But I also don't even know the brand. They're, it just came in like a clear package. If you haven't seen my video, you can go back and watch my video. I think it says I won some giveaways or something. Alrighty, let's see. I'm going to want to put this all over my lid. Look at how pigmented it is, like just a couple of tabs. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's see. Oh, I like this brush too. You know, I cleaned up my eyebrows because I keep messing with them. I need to quit cleaning up my eyebrows. Just let them grow back, but I can't I have like this problem where I just keep messing with them and I've decided I don't like eyebrows you know why because they grow back like a day later it's like what the hell get that color that's really pretty like I didn't use that color last time I used the brown next to it and that was a very pigmented also I thought this one wasn't going to be as pigmented so I thought wrong huh guess I'll just do um Oops, kind of like a halo eye. I was going to do a different, like, a different look. But, um, this is, like, way too dark for what I had originally planned. So, no biggie. That's why sometimes you just can't plan stuff. You just got to go with the flow. So, I know the majority of you that watch me already watch the Claptastic Ladies, or some of them. But I do know, oops, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna start over. You get these at the dollar store, you get six pair of them for a buck. I used to sell them there all the time. I think I have one more package of them somewhere. And they haven't been selling them, so I don't know. It's the only bad thing about the dollar stores, you know, is um, sometimes they'll keep getting the same stuff in. But then, sometimes they don't. The only thing that you can be guaranteed at the dollar store is um, there's going to be balloons. There's going to be, like, silverware and, um, what is it called? I just love it when I'm in the middle of thinking and my mind goes blank. Oh, cleaning supplies, medications. Those are about the only things that I see, like, the cookware. Like, that's always the same. They never really change that up. Um, so, cookware is always the same, and cleaning supplies, the medication is always the same. And then if your dollar store has food in it, that like carries pretty much the same types of foods every once in a while. I'll do like seasonal, I guess, get something different, but not. 
Not very often, at least not at my dollar store. All right, so what shiny should I use? I think I'm gonna flip everyone's mind and not use purple. So let's use, I think that this is gonna be the better choice. Now, I've, they have like um, names, like this is Hero Like, but the one that I use right here, it's something IQ cute, I think. Mm. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to use this right here. And we're just going to finger it on. Get your mind out of the gutter now. Come on. Oh, that is so pretty. I think maybe that color was meant. Those two colors were meant to go together. Yum. Buddy. Look how pretty that is. No, but anyways, what I was saying is I have some new people. And I don't know if... You know, you're into this kind of um, videos, but if you are, I always leave all of the girls linked up here in a little white dot and then down below in my description and you can check them out. There are a variety of us. We're all different ages and we all live in different areas of the United States. We all have our own different personalities and most of us partake in every video. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes our life is just too hectic or we have unexpected deaths or we have to get an extra job or, you know, whatever. And so whenever we can, we're here. We're trying to do a collab every month. Sometimes it's like every three to six weeks. It just kind of depends on our schedule. Girl, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. I think that's going to be good. I wonder if my patches are drying so fast because I forgot I have to whip them around. It's a little chilly in northern Michigan. And it is actually a Saturday morning at, like, at the moment, I am preparing to work third shift tomorrow night. So I took a nap. It is 3.36 a.m. on April 16th, and I have to work third shift tomorrow. I'm not a happy camper about that. My job decided to add third shift to it because they're fucking stupid. I wish I could tell you the name of my company, but... <laughs> I'd rather talk shit about them. Um, so anyways, like, my company was bought out by another company, and it's all in the gas station business, and they decided that it was probably best to run third shift, but there's a reason that the original company that owned it didn't have a third shift for this particular store. They don't make enough money. So then, when they gave us third shift, they didn't want to give us any extra hours. Now, I don't know if any of you guys know how scheduling works, but... There, my store was allowed to have 249 hours a week and that includes everybody in the store and they go by how much money you bring in. So if your store is busy and you're bringing in a lot of money, you can have, you know, five, 600 hours and have all the help that you want if you can find it and if your store is that busy. If your store is not that busy, then you have less workers that either do full time or you have more workers that do part time, but either way you have to separate it into the 249 hours, right? Well. Our store is not doing that. Look at I'm gabbing it up with no makeup on. <laughs> Our store is not doing that. And their um, my manager has to a little bit go over the 249 hours because if not, she really can't cover all of the shifts. And people don't like to work by themselves. I don't mind it because like if I'm by myself, I will get done what I can when the next shift comes in out of all the stuff that I'm not able to get done, I start with like the most important thing, which is like the coolers. So um, I like go and I'll um, stock the cooler. And sometimes it's so empty that I spend a half an hour, 45 minutes in there. And by the time I get done, I need to leave because you can't really work over your time. If you do, then the manager gets in trouble because she's using up more hours than what she's allowed. It's just super annoying. But anyhow, they have one person that they were able to hire in for third shift. They have really no more hours to um, hire uh, another person for third shift. They need to though. They need to just suck it up and do it because nobody wants to work third shift. I didn't get hired in for third shift. I told them this was the only time I'm working two third shift nights because it's during a one week period and it's all I'm doing. I will quit and then I'll put their company on blast because then at that moment I won't work for them and 
I can put them on blast because if they figure it out and they try to sue me, like when I applied, I applied for first and or second shift or a little bit of both when I had my interview, I should have told my manager, I don't do third shift, period. They asked me if I'd do it. I told them one time. I will help you one time to try to be a team player. Other than that, I'm not trying to do nothing than my job. So, but anyways, so I took a nap. Now it's like 3.30 something in the morning. I'm drinking coffee just so that way I can go to sleep. I'm trying to stay up until like 6.30 because that's what time I get out of work. And then I can, I should do my makeup too. And then I don't want to um, put makeup on, I just want to talk. But I'm trying to stay up until 6.30 because that's what time I'll get out of work. That way I can sleep. I know I'm not going to be able to sleep like, you know, straight through till like 2, 3 o'clock. I know I'm not. I've tried third shift before. But I'll probably sleep, you know, like three, four hours, and then I'll get up, be dra dragging ass, be tired as hell, and then like around five, sleep until like nine, you know, and get up, because I have to be to work at 10.30, and then I'm breaking rules. I don't care either. I'm going to be listening to music while I'm there. I've talked to, because they've actually had like, I'm like the third person that's doing third shift, so this is the third week. I just started working there like and when I originally started working there at the end of May not even May we're not even in May I'm lying in the end of March we closed at 11 and now and the like I've been there like I think three or four weeks four weeks going on my fifth week and um three of those weeks we've had their shift which is stupid because from like midnight to five in the morning, the only sales that are made is if the person that's working buys something. I've been taking my own stuff to work and I'm gonna take my own stuff to work tomorrow too because I know I'm gonna need something to snack on. Um, I can't just stay up all night and not eat something. I mean, I could, but I'm not gonna want to. So there's that. My um, Uddle Balm Glow Powder. And I know this is a powder brush, but I love it. This is my cheek palette. It's a highlight, I think. I like put my thumb in it and then I press it down and like not very goodly either, but I press it down and I haven't even used it. Maybe I use it tonight, but I've been really liking, I don't know. I just like try to use, um, all of my stuff and, um, so I'll, I'll use like a, my cheek palette for like, a for like a week or two, maybe three and then. I'll be getting ready to do a video or something, or even putting my everyday makeup on. Is that weird? I wonder if I got some brown look. Let's try to take that off and do it again. That's weird. I don't like that. Well, let's do both of them. I don't like it to be on even either. <laughs> so I'll use my palette. Yeah, I think I hit that brown right there. I'll be getting ready to do a video or put my own makeup on for like work or whatever. And then I'll go, oh, wait a minute. I've been using this cheek palette for a while now. I should probably get a different one. And then I'll find a different one. And then I use that one. So right now, I'm, this is the one I'm on right now. And since I don't really use powder, I thought I might as well use these powder brushes. They're big, though, so you have to be really careful. Because if not, like, if you have, like, this as a bronzer, I think. So we're going to use it as a bronzer. And, um best. You get these in BoxyCharm boxes. If you get BoxyCharm. But I also seen them at like I don't know. I think it was Walmart or Home Depot or something. It's not exactly like that but it could be used. Like that. So let's take this brown right here. And let's go like this. It works a little bit I guess. Let's put it on the tip. Put it on the tip. I swear to the Lord above. <laughs> Oh, I have my mind on the gutter. And I do enjoy face palettes that have everything that I need in one. But I also have single bronzers to do what I want. Alrighty. Oh, I was going to use that as a highlight. I was getting ready to get my over one I've been using. I kind of do the same thing with my highlight. I'll use the same highlight for like a week or two. And then switch it because I really like to use all my makeup. I don't like to switch everything out like daily. It's so annoying. Maybe if I could get a little bit more organized. I try to get organized, but I 
I don't succeed, like, yeah. If you watched my video, you know, where I was challenged by KCS opinions and terrible editing skills or terrible video skills, I can't remember what it is, she showed her messy recording room and I did the same thing, so, because she was like, I challenge, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you've seen that video, you've seen how messy it was, it's like three times messier because, well, because I'm lazy. My favorite is lipstick from Juvia's Place, the Velity Matte Lipstick in um, Kiwi. Oh, I love it. Alrighty, I love this lipstick and it's amazing because it is a matte. It does dry down. It don't feel like most like matte lipsticks that like dry down and it like, I don't know, to me there's a lot of them out there that feel like it crinkles and like dries your lips down. This don't do that probably because of the Velity part of it. And like, I'm a smoker, so I can, and I drink out of straws, you know, like, most of the time. So, if you're, like, just drinking your, like, water, pop, whatever, out of a straw, and you smoke, the lipstick lasts forever. Now, when you eat, like, I do, I, get, I don't open my mouth really wide when I eat, so it don't matter what type of lipstick I have on, I lose it. But the other day when I did my full day wear test I like put my lipstick on and I didn't retouch it normally after I eat I retouch it but that day I just had the hell with it I wanted to see what it was going to do because I was doing an all day wear test right mainly for the foundation but I had the lipstick on too and at the very end of it like around my lips there was still like a, you could still see like a lightly part of the lipstick like after eight nine hours you know so it's a long lasting lipstick it may not be the best long lasting lipstick but it's really good so you only have to reapply it like twice a day like when you eat like big meals soon <laughs> There's that. Alrighty, I have been going on and off about so much stuff, I don't even really remember everything I've talked about. Just remember that I'm going to leave the links to the group of all of the fantastic ladies up in the little white dot and down in the description below. So that way, if you'd like to check them out because you don't know who they are, that'd be super awesome of you. Now, I have nothing else to say. Well, I have a lot to say, but I'm just going to let you go before we, we're here like five hours. I do hope that you enjoyed watching my collab hashtag video. I hope that you have a wonderful night. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome curve.